So, uh, yeah, I'm here with Danton, and um, you know what? I've always loved your drum sounds. I think they sound massive. When I first heard you, you get drum sounds at York Street in New Zealand, they sound great. Um, you've always used massive, I guess, or big sounding rooms. And um, here, where you are at the strong room, you've got quite a small room here, and you still manage to get a pretty great drum sounds. So I don't know whether you've got something you can play us and show us and show us how you get these great sounds. Oh, that's very kind. But it's, uh, those great rooms, as you know, I mean, the problem is they don't exist anymore. Uh -huh. All our favourite places for working, which you used to think about going to for doing drums, Townhouse, Olympic, Psalm, Abbey Road's still there, um, York Street and the likes yeah. have all gone. And there's not the budgets, even if there were the sure. rooms. Um, but luckily, having been in all those rooms over those years, every time we were there, uh, I took samples of the kits. So whenever we had the kit set up, ah, we took individual mic samples of all of the kits. So now, after all these years, we now have this great collection of all the room samples from different kits in Olympic, Townhouse, Psalm. And these are all um, different velocities and stuff? Not so many, a couple of different velocities. Yeah. Psalm Hookend, which yeah. is a great space for recording drums. Sure. Um, I mean, pretty well everywhere we go, we yeah. take samples from. Every room we're at. Uh, Par Street in Liverpool, the old stone room, which made it onto lots of records. Now we've got this room here, which is a much smaller room. Yeah. I mean, I love it for kits in there. It's a very tonal space. Uh -huh. Kits sound very rich, you hear all the detail of what's going on. Drummers love it in there yeah, as well. Good low end and stuff. Or... Low end's great, yeah. weeks bottoms out. But of course, you, you haven't got the space. Yeah, it's sure. great if you just want that sound. Yeah. But now, having now catalogued all these uh, room sounds we've had for so many years, um, I used them with Slate Trigger. Trigger, okay. So once you've got your kit sound, you can then start feeding in different room mics. Sure, so you create, you've created your own. Uh, you create the room. It's, it's, it's normally true. just bass drum and snare to yeah. give the thing some, some space. Yeah. And I prefer using those room samples to using reverbs. Okay. I mean, I still use reverbs, but so do you, this more dense and just something more realistic and tangible about yeah. the sound. And you say we're, we're just like bass drums and snare. So are you creating like a stereo mix of the kick? So it's got a close mic, it's got a room, it's got everything in one, or do you have the individual files inside? Well, actually, there? most of the kit will be the kit that we've recorded. Okay. So the kit that we're in there, yeah. the kit in this case was in uh, Jorg in um, Copper in Slovenia. Okay. And it's just the room mics more than sure. I still ha I have all the direct yeah. mics, and sometimes I will use those and yeah. blend them in, sort of dirty mics or if they had a particularly beautiful sound in uh -huh. kids. But for the purposes of what we're talking now about drum sounds and sides, it's mainly room mics. Sure. I mean, can we have a listen to some of these? Yeah. Uh, this... Cool. So, I mean, let's, can we have take take a bit of a listen and, and and see what's going on in here then? Sure. This is uh, uh, a kit. This is what we've just been doing with this band Koala Voice out in Slovenia. Um, this is the, the whole track. Sorry. Sounds like quite a roomy drum sound. But quite a lot of that is coming from. That's very interesting. So, these ambient samples that we were talking about. So, for instance, with the bass drum, there's a bit of uh, hook end in there. A bit of this one here was uh, uh, Townhouse. Yeah, yeah. Actually, no, that's Olympic, sorry. That's Olympic Studio okay. 1. So it's like this sort of historic thing. Yeah. Um, all these different samples. That's like close one. What's that? Again, a small room. I think that's one of the smaller rooms at the end. They're fairly close ones. Awesome. But a lot of them are kind of really ambient ones. Yeah, yeah. And the same applies to the snare. Oh, uh, if I get the right one, that's under the snare. Hang on. So that is, let's see what collection of places that has. Um, that's the stone room at Par Street. <laughs> awesome. Um, what's that one there? So they're just so really are the room the room mics. The room mics, yeah. and I have actually uh, the different kits as well. So uh, what was that? Was I? So if I go into here, these are all different artists at different studios. So um, oh, awesome. So what you got like Norma in there and yeah. So that would have been here maybe Hook and Manor. Um, that's Townhouse, that's Olympic, um, that's a different artist at Townhouse, that's a different artist at Olympic. Um, these ones here are a big studio in Havana, uh -huh. where we're working in Cuba. Yeah. That's a big space, which actually reminded me um, very much of um, Olympic, very similar lookout to the place cool. inside. Uh, uh, that's cool. another room, that's the different room at Townhouse, the main room. So I mean all these sessions go back, and there are different samples of different parts of the kit. I mean I tend to just use 
the ambient mics. Sure, yeah. Because that's what we're looking for. That's what we're lacking from the kit here. Yeah, of course. Or maybe a bit of that room. I mean, did you did you previously used to put reverbs on drums? Yeah, I mean, I still do. I mean, is, is there actually there's none on there? And, and if you did, what kind of things? So I've always struggled. It's like when you, it just sounds fake and false. But it does sound fake and false. But I like. Recently, I like the Valhalla stuff. Oh, that's cool, right? That stuff. And it's Valhalla cheap, room, and also, yep, yeah, cheap. Just yeah. pull down all the top end on it. Yeah. I find myself kind of filtering down to about three or four k. Do you? Okay. Um, like are you talking like long reverbs or short reverbs, like more small pretty, rooms. Pretty yeah, smaller, so one point yeah. four, maybe one point five, nothing much yeah. longer, depending on the project. And I'll have that over the whole kit, so that okay. might go over the whole kit stem. I see. Okay. You and see. then I'll just use the mix, the blend. Ah, I to, see. Yeah. To make, and it actually feels like a room it cool. feels it feels good that when it's combined with your slate stuff yeah what yeah. we're doing here yeah um, and it all works rather well do you ever like do any like distort any of the rooms or anything like that or do you just do that by yeah your... actually with decapitator I use yeah. that quite a lot just on the room it's just a little lifeless um, just driving it a bit with decapitator sure. on the ambulance mics just seems to uh, liven it all up yeah um, and do you ever like de worry about detuning the samples to fit with the snare or anything? Or are you just they're, finding samples that they're all well? eminently tunable because yeah. you can just bring them up and down. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. sometimes the room might sound a bit bright, and you sure. can just bring it down to quite a, uh, a low weight. Uh, but do you do that or not? Or do you yeah, I do. Especially with ambient yeah. mics, just bringing them down to fit a bit more with whatever the tuning of this kit is. Cool. Awesome. But, I mean, you can do that very easily. Awesome. So I mean, can we maybe have listen to that drum kit as a full drum kit then, just quickly, and then yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So most of the ambits you're hearing there is in fact, it's clearly a room, it's not a reverb, yeah, yeah. but it's all completely artificial. So that drum kit was recorded in there? Now that was actually was... a different room, but again yeah. it's the room which is dry, it yeah, doesn't cool. have a long, a, a long space. That's awesome. So you can try it out quite quickly to see the difference if I... Uh... So that's... So that's the room. Wow. With just top kit, uh, a bit of ambience, sorry, a bit overhead. So that's the room ambience that was there. And then with uh, it in as we have it now. So with our samples. That's cool. It says for me very useful and it's a lot that's natural just, right yeah, yeah and it has a density to it um that you don't really get with reverbs yeah. you know just having the mic sure in the room. sure cool that sounds awesome so yeah and it's you know, infinitely variable yeah you know it's quite fun just having all these fader setups now where you go townhouse strong room yeah. whatever just and see you know choose the room awesome. and if you've been in those rooms for me it's quite nice because you actually picture them as soon as yeah, you push yeah. them up of course it's abdallah actually the place that was in cuba okay. which is again a very big recording space yeah, yeah. Great.